today it's going to be a fantasy helmet and uh, by that I mean something like this it might turn out to be whatever I never know what it's going to look like when it's finished um, it's really fun not too hard um, and in my opinion I think they look really nice so Before we begin, uh, I have this little tool that is actually something I made. Uh, doesn't look like anything, but it's actually really good. It is a piece of plastic, a piece of chip wood board, and then this chip wood board with a wooden stick drilled into it. You can see I have holes in the stick also. Then I have this it sits on the top and it's just a piece of wood with a hole that fits into that. I didn't drill the whole way through so it actually stops and then just by adjusting the height like this I can choose how high I want my helmet or whatever I'm building to be. Uh, we, first of all, we need a pinching pot bowl on the top and then we are going to build the walls. So this is where the height is really important. Uh, and also when you want to let your helmet to dry. It's good to have already a plastic as a bottom and also this. This is newspapers and a plastic bag like this. So nothing fancy but really good to use. Um, I just hope that you get some ideas for yourself and maybe you can make a lot of nice fantasy helmets also or something else the same shape. Uh, if you like my videos remember to subscribe. It's always nice to hear where you are from and what you do. Uh, so yeah, without more talking let's go into the making. Okay, so let's start by wedging the clay. The clay I use is stoneware. And this clay has a lot of grog, so it's really easy to build with it. Okay, now I think the air is gone and the plasticity is just as it should be. like to cut away a little piece to see that it looks all right. And what we need now is a little bit of water and just to pinch out the bowl. You can see it in my video from before how I do it so I will of course show it in this video too but it's kind of speeded up and shorter. I always just dip my thumb and start from the middle. This is what it looks like. Okay, so now 
I can remove this if I want to, but I don't want that. The thing I have to do now is measure the height of this. And uh, yeah, you can use, of course, a ruler. I just use my roller. And I see it's about that high that I have to take away. So, I move this for a while. Okay, now for the walls of the helmet, we need, of course, more clay. So, I have to wedge this again. Um, I will not film that, so you can just see what I do next. Okay, the clay is wedged. Now, I will just make this flat and use my roller so that I get it even. Always when you try to make something even or thinner, remember to turn the clay. It makes it much easier to get the same thickness all the way. Okay, now, uh, it's time now to cut the height of the helmet. Then the next one. And I just cut a little bit like this. Okay, now <clears throat> this is going to be the wall of the helmet. And I try to make it the same thickness all the way. And now it's interesting to see if this is enough. Oh, yeah. Now we just have to adjust this, so we got the wall, it should be attached to the helmet, and then we need some slip so it actually sticks really good. Now, yeah, it's time for the slip. Now the slip has to be the same clay because otherwise it might dry or shrink in uh, different from the, the clay you use. So always use the same clay for slip. Let's core it. And then I put some slip on. Now this is the glue. And you always have to put it when you attach two different pieces of clay. Otherwise it will just fall off. So remember that. Really important.
Now it's good to work both from the inside and from the outside so that the, the place where you put them together actually really really sticks good. Remember that you cannot put this on a head because if you get stuck it's like being stuck in a stone. It's not easy to break. So don't don't put it on a head. So now the part that I think is the most fun it's actually to start cutting and making all different things. Uh, to the helmet and you see I have the, the crack here for the plate so I need to put the helmet so it's in the right spot really easy when you have a plastic underneath okay I'll let it dry for a little while just like 10 minutes a few spots on the helmet uh, are really important to maybe strengthen a little bit first of all uh, down here on the bottom I usually make something and where I attach the pinching pot bowl and the wall uh, I usually put something here just to, to strengthen it and also close to these walls. So that's probably what I'm going to do now. now uh, I was thinking about making something in here so let's start with that and try to make both sides look the same and then I cut a little bit away like so uh, yeah that looks good but remember you always have to slip and score you can't just attach it to, to the helmet like that that's something. Then I want also to cut a little bit out. Here we go. Now I actually have to turn it so I see it from my, my point of view. We don't want any bubbles in the air underneath this, so you have to press it hard enough, but not too hard. You don't want to, to lose the shape. I don't know about you when you, if you make videos on YouTube or any other social media, but kind of feels like standing on a beach shouting out at the waves and nobody hears you um, but yeah maybe someone out there <laughs> hears my shouts and sees my tutorials uh, we're all beginners in the beginning and this YouTube stuff is really something really new for me but I like the clay work and I actually like cameras and film also this is now going to be the, the edge and I'm going to cut this also maybe just straight on this side that 
and then just all the way around. Now when you cut, usually one of the sides is smoother. This is the side that was underneath, this is the side that was on the, like, facing upwards. I always put slip on this side because the other side is more, more beautiful. So let's put some slip on this. I think that making one piece of something is always fun, uh, but making many, it's uh, at least when you have them somewhere in the house or somewhere, it gives a, a special effect when you have many of, of something and especially if they are a little bit different. So I probably have about 10 or 15 of these helmets already. All of them are different. There's not one like the other. So that's also fun. This time, something like this, and I think I will put it right on top of the helmet, like so. And then, slip. Now, sometimes people ask me if you can do this with air drying clay too, and you probably can. It's... I haven't used air dried clay that much but um, yeah why not as I said this is stoneware and you need a kiln with a really high temperature to burn it so this is up to 1250 about centigrade that is in Fahrenheit but it always says in the package when you buy clay so never ever burn it in a hotter kiln than it says in the package you can always burn it lower but never hotter because then you will ruin your kiln something with the, these edges. Now I want two pieces exactly the same size. So I cut two pieces of clay like this and then I try to cut as straight as possible to get the perfect symmetrical pieces. One and two. So here we go with the first one. And now we have to try to get the second one to look absolutely the same. Oh. Drop that one. The second one. I'm trying to put these with slip and build a net and I will put it in here so this is going to take a little bit of time but a whole lot of slip, a whole lot of clay and patience and this is what it looks like. I will leave it to dry just for a little while because uh, if I put it up now I think it will just lose its shape. You can try to see what it should what it looks like if I put it here. Yeah, I think that will be nice. Something like this. So 
a little bit of drying and then I'll put that up there. As long as I wait, I can actually start doing some patterns. And then I just attach this the way I want it. I think that's good like that. Okay, maybe it's time to finish, not do more. Um, yep, I think I'm happy with this. So this is the final result. I hope you liked my video. So, thanks for watching. I will show you the final result afterwards.